like, we were really like running wild, you know, like really, truly running wild. And we all spent like a lot of time just like with shutting the world out. We destroyed the rooms, but in our heads there was, it was about like, oh, we're not really actually hurting anything. We're not making it hard for anybody because it's just torn up. I mean, like then we'd break everything. to like reflect on like what he was doing because he was so you know young when he died. I basically I went to a school a Rhode Island School of Design in Providence which was a, a pretty lucky lucky thing. I really wanted to go to a Cooper Union but I didn't get in and uh, you know to like have to leave the city a little bit was really important for me to learn how to like spend time with making art you know because I think in the city I would have been a lot more distracted. Anyways, I would come down and visit Ryan McGinley, who I grew up with in Jersey, skateboarding. And so um, I would always stay with him. Around that time is when I met Dash, who was really just a graffiti writer. You know, we just rolled around with this graffiti crew called Iraq, like uh, Ryan and I. And so, and Dash was, you know, if I was 19, he was like 16 at the time or something like that. So pretty young. I think like Ryan, Dash, and I are very, the work is very different. You know, and uh, but we had a major influence on each other, both personally and you know, what professionally or whatever. And uh, we really like we were really like running wild, you know, like really truly running wild. And we all spent like a lot of time just like with shutting the world out, you know, like just in our own places together, not worried about anything else. Like we all really were always, or like when it became appropriate, like even for Dash, like very rigorous about our work, you know? He really was like uh, one of these guys who lived his art, you know? And like his character was like his creation. I did, I made a sculpture of Dash's wall, which was like, wasn't a collaboration, but was really like basically at a point where uh, before Dash had started making objects, really, he had he was like more kind of like see saw what Ryan was doing and was really intrigued by, by like essentially just documenting his own life and making things out of his own life. But he hadn't taken that leap to say like it doesn't matter. It's not a, like to take a photograph of a scene is m maybe no different than to than to just take the 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 stuff that's in the corner of that same scene and pot, you know glue it together, right? Eventually, you know, we got to do the nest together, and we lived, we did those things together. We lived through them, you know, we did them, um, and you know, Dash documented them, the ones that we did in hotels and in w w wherever as we traveled. But uh, we, it started. Uh, we took a, a road trip uh, uh, once, or, or like the first time together, and really just like you know, you're in the middle of nowhere in America and we want to find the same energy that we're accustomed to, you know, and it's, so it's like we have to create it ourselves. And uh, I think Dash had done one in Tijuana in Mexico or something. He had some story about like a hamster nest, you know, and so you turn a room into a hamster cage because you tear up phone books because that's what they put in hamster cages, you know, torn up phone books to soak up the, the hamster piss or whatever. And so, um, yeah, so, so we just started doing it, and it's like, you know, we destroyed the rooms, but in our heads there was, it was about like, oh, we're not really actually hurting anything, we're not making it hard for anybody because it's just torn up. I mean, like, then we'd break everything and everything else would get torn up, but like, it was like, there was some sort of, and for us, it was, you know, because it wasn't, it wasn't a uh, public performance, you know, it wasn't for an audience, it was really just about our, uh, it, was, uh, it was like how we dialogued almost, and it was how, it was like how we were affectionate almost, you know, it was about our relationship, you know. So when Jeffrey Deitch approached us about doing it in his space, we were pretty skeptical of it. You know, so we almost didn't do it, you know, we, like he approached us and we were like, ah, and then Dash and I talked a lot about it and then I kind of sat down with Jeffrey and, you know, kind of talked about some parameters and basically we just like, you know, the only way it could work is if it, his gallery was our gallery, you know what I mean? If it was like, not his, if it was ours. And so he gave us the keys, you know, for, for, and for a week we, we lived in there basically, you know, and, uh, 
and it, you know, it's like one of these things that I'll cherish having being able to like created that situation with him. You know, I remember the first night, uh, Jeffrey helped us get interns, and so I, we still have pictures of like 20 kids shredding phone books, but the space is really big, you know? And so uh, we did that, but we eventually, Jeffrey found this truck that comes to, it, it comes to like big offices, you know, businesses like it'll go to JP Morgan or whatever, you know, like, and it'll, they'll bring out all their documents that they need shredded once a month. And so it's a huge shredding machine, and so it came and shredded like 20,000 phone books in an afternoon. And so then we put those all in. And what ended up happening actually is like, uh, the night we did, we had the opening night was like uh, some of our some of our uh, friends play music, and uh, and maybe you know it was pretty limited like who we invited. It wasn't like an op it wasn't a public opening, you know. And so maybe there was a hundred people in there, but it was so disgusting the next day that like the girls in the gallery like we're gonna have to spend the next month in there, and it was like rotten. You know what I mean? Like people were pissing in it and just like beer and you know whatever. There's some people who think we should just leave this open permanently. You know like the Walter D. Maria birth room on Worcester Street. We should keep this as the New York dirt room. So that's the big collaboration. There's I'm sure lots of little little bits and pieces that we also kind of made together. I don't know to take this question too seriously it's gonna make me like, oh, really emotional, but uh, Dash died in 2009. Um, I don't know, we, we, we had a special connection that like was very uh, intimate, you know? But there was like a clarity in losing him that that gave me. Yeah, artistically it's definitely, uh, I've made a lot of work that, that was like, specifically about our relationship. Uh, the show Gagosian, the 24th Street in uh, 2010, uh, it was called Poetry. And, you know, it was a lot that, that even that sentiment in the title was about that com coming out of that year from his death, you know. And, uh, um, the, yeah, it was a simple show, you know, there was just a few works in it. You, walk, you walked into 24th Street and you were immediately confronted by a large brick wall that was uh, essentially, it looked like it was freestanding. From the front you were just looking at a big brick wall and from the back there were some, some kind of like support beams holding it up. Um, but it was a pretty aggressive piece and a pretty minimal piece, you know. And basically once you, once you got around that, uh, on the other side of it, there was a series of motorcycles that were knocked over each other. So there were 13 bikes like top dominoed over each other. And behind, behind the motorcycles on a wall was a, was a, a painting of a, it was like a, the top of a counter where all these bottles were kind of empty bottles were, were lying around. But the, you know, the bottles in the, in the painting, it was a really large painting, bigger than this. So the bottles were person sized bottles. And, um, but the painting, you know, like, it, this, this is like the silliest thing to talk about, and I've almost avoided it until now, but it, it just, it just is a fact. Like, I started it, you know, uh, um, you know, like, like before Dash's death, you know, and I finished it, uh, you know, afterwards, and, and, and my lifestyle changed a lot in that, in that time, and my relationship to, to everything did, you know? And so to a painting of like a bunch of empty bottles on a table is like a different thing for me, you know? It did kind of become this, this like uh, icon for that moment of my life. But uh, so to have the opportunity to like deal with the, the domino effect in front of it as a possible circumstance in reality, you know, like a f physically dominoing. And so just that, that play, play of objects, you know, and corresponding to the bottles and the fragility of the bottles. I don't know, it just, there was some, there was a dialogue that started, that invented itself there, really. Next to that was a, a giant skateboard ramp that I had basically built inside a Gagosian gallery and invited my friends to come and skate on. And then we kind of took it back apart and flipped it upside down and put it back together. So it was like a bridge or like a shelter, you know? And on either side of those was a, 
really large gum painting. And then kind of hidden behind those was the first really large scale confetti painting. Um, and uh, the, you know, the ceiling of the skate ramp, which you could stand under, was you know, just pretty close to your head. And all of the marks from the skate wheels, these like skid marks were all over it, which you know, more or less like coordinated to the confetti confetti marks. The word kind of came from, from this re, like it was like, it was like I had rediscovered life, you know? It's like I had forgot about life for so long. And in that year, I rediscovered it. And, and poetry I was kind of using as this like, as a, almost like, almost like, like, like a miracle or like magic, you know? And so like, it's really like the poetry in life. I'm a more liked son than I used to be, <laughs> for sure. But uh, uh, we'll see, we'll see.